position nicely, getting us a nice setup. Bulby and Santi going up for it, and Bulby uh, just laying off for Santi there. Nice little dummy in the air. Not sure which direction to go, and I ended up leaving the fence by footage. A start you needed if you're Clemson, UCF, like you asked, coming out strong out of the gate. Spiro with a great 50 up high. Will be through the corner. That's good to center. Santi with an opportunity, and it looks like it's a pinch with Hesfura to rocket one on net. Oh my that, goodness, 87 miles an hour. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's sick. And thank gosh that we have the uh, we have the US measurements going on, even though I do do pretty good metric measurements and convergence in my head. Thank you for not making me do Rocket League mathematics here on stream. <laughs> that is a screamer. And now, you know, I am seeing exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted them to see come out with the blood in their eyes and a fire in their hearts. And man, are they really on the jugular of Clemson Purple right now. Two goals, less than 60 seconds gone. Brody will get a big clear immediately turned back by Ascura. Snipes scrambling to get into position. This one's dangerous. That one's to the corner. And that's now three goals to the good in favor of UCF. That is disgusting on that angle as well. Just look, you know the, tra the trust and the transition there off the carom from the wall. That is beautiful corner play, and you love to see it. I mean, this is just absolute smackdown territory going on right now, Lars. Clemson's got to find a way to slow down this UCF train before it gets too far ahead on the tracks. Bulby center pass as Furo shot on and a team bump almost actually leads to a save for T-Rath, but not quite. That one's to the top of the net. A minute and 18 seconds and already four goals for UCF. I mean, I, I need to see physicality coming out from Clemson right now. I mean, that's the biggest thing is that they're just absolutely being bullied off the ball. They're getting zero aerial contention as well. So up the physicality, that's a common theme for me. And that's a nice little win there for t Rap in the air, but no follow up from them. We've got a couple of quick clears, but it's never sustained. They never find a way to get this ball out of their own zone and keep it there. Snipes with a great touch up field. Now Brody across, but it will be UCF to collect it first. Could have been an awkward touch from Esfira, but they do a great job of recognizing where it's going and collecting that regardless of their boost state. Now they're up field with a shot on net. Plenty of boost. Gets the 50 with Brody. That one to the corner. A bit of an awkward touch. This one coming back up field. Lars, I thought he was going to be like a like a fullback in football there and just ram it down the throats. But no, no joy there. Nice little defensive stand there. Now I really need to see this holding midfield that I saw so predominant against College of Charleston. They just haven't gotten a touch of the ball. And I think, you know, they may have been sniped out getting a little bit of pre-scouting on them because they are getting zero touches really in the midfield. Ooh. Woo! The touches, the read off the back wall for Santi will find the back of the net just before halftime here. Solo play up. A little bit of misdirection from Esfura. I think drawing the eyes away from those defenders and Brody's just not up in time to take that one away. I mean, a free jump could have maybe saved that, but I, I'm not necessarily sure. And you know, the misdirection aside, there really needs to be a goal coming out of purple right now. I, I think the Clemson, if they can get on the board, you know, even if they lose this first game, I think it holds them in good stead for the series. They just got to get out the gate. They've got to find some consistent pressure here on the nice goal. I'd have to agree. I'd love to see a little bit of a momentum shift here and a single goal, even if it doesn't change the outcome of this game, could do wonders for Clemson going forward in the series. So far, not looking good as Fira with great contain puts pressure on the neck. It's a bump, but t Rath is up in time. Now looking to center this one back up. Conti, soft touch. And another one to get that one past Brody. We're going to play this one down. That one remains in the shooting lane. Double commit out of UCF, quickly called off. Pressure continues to build at the top of the box here as UCF hammers away on this Clemson purple net. Oh, there it is, U.S. Fura out of nowhere. Beautiful comms, beautiful setup, beautiful engagement and recognition of the aerial attempt to challenge 50 up in the uh, right-hand corner there. And man, this is a uh, triple or a double hat trick lead for the Knights. Minute, minute 45 left on the clock. And this is what we're looking for right now. You know, I was talking about this in the opening. I wanted to see them come out and just be feral. Just go for everything. Don't leave anything out on the field. Bowlby finally getting themselves on the scoreboard as well. And I tell you what, I mean, this is, you know, a full team effort. They are just firing on all cylinders, Lars. This is scary proposition for Clemson. 
Got to get a goal. I think a goal, because I mean, we're looking for the Brazil, of course, right now for the memes. But man, I, if we can get you know the uh, the, the scoreline here, uh, even one to the better for Clemson, I think it changes their whole outlook on this game. Oh, I think it depends on that one. If it's one right now and the scoreline holds, then that's it's a whole different implication. And maybe you question if UCF allowed it to happen to pick up the Brazil. That's a great play up field, but no one's going to be there to follow up on it. And I talk a lot about having an aggressive lead at the 92nd mark. You don't get much more aggressive than 7 nothing when you roll across that final minute 30. Oh, I think the connecting passes, it was really, you know, I think their first touches are letting them down a little bit. And then the connecting passes after that, ooh. Hello? That's a great <laughs> ground pass there. Yeah, <laughs> I was feeling that one too, Lars. I was like, ah! Sometimes... Here's a transition with potential, oh. but unfortunately UCF <laughs> is just too good, oh. Fulby, with the double dunk. Two players up to defend. It doesn't matter. They're just too strong. Yeah, there's the uh, fullback play that I was talking about, just ramming it down their throats. It actually gets a little bit of a backwards motion and going behind them in that like, rocking out there love to see that as well but uh you know this is really what's been indicative of, of ucf this entire uh qualifier is that they are just really out for blood uh they have not let off the gas whatsoever uh there have been a couple of you know decent looks at maybe creating a goal but still uh they are just absolutely going balls to the wall here and i love to see this yeah there's a reason ucf came into this invitation came into this qualifier for the invitational with an invite to the invitational you know it's they they came in here ready to play because we know the quality that they bring just would have loved to have seen Clemson Purple get a better look now they still have time left in the series to try to get this one back but after a dominating victory like that off the bat this is quite the uphill battle from the side of Clemson Purple yeah, and I tell you, Bulby is the uh, is the uh, technician in the back. Uh, a lot of these attacks that happen do go through Bulby. I mean, look at them. I mean, this is just the heat maps. Once again, I love this visual. And, and you know, you just see how much pressure their <clears throat> net was under. I mean, they had mm -hmm. zero chance to breathe. They were so stifled. It was like... The Knights may have flipped the script as far as the midfield holding pattern. Uh, the Knights just decided, you know what? We're going to take midfield. We're going to take the aerial control away from you. 50-50s. Yeah, we're going in full bore. And, the I mean, Purple just did not have a chance to get back to it, Lars. That was just filthy sick from them. Knights firing on cylinders 1-0. I, I don't know, man. Clemson, uh, get that espresso going. Get it going. Oh, I think Clemson themselves looking to recognize a good team when they see one. I know the chat is off here on the live stream, but Snipes <laughs> questioning. Throwing it out there that, hey, they're pretty good. Maybe you guys should think about doing CRL or something. <laughs> Love to see that. Everyone's having fun out here. I know I am, despite the scoreline of that first one. It's still good, clean Rocket League to see. And Brody looking to up that aggression, looking to get in the face of UCF here a little bit faster in game number two. Well, I mean, it's it's one of my tenants, right? I, I've got two main tenants here in Rocket League. When things aren't going your way, I want more aggression. I want more physicality. So, uh, you know, they're starting to maybe bring that out just a little bit. Brody uh, looking at a little double pinch here. What a shot. Oh, no. I, I don't know if that was a save by <clears throat> T-Rath or if that was just an absolute <laughs> stuff block there from uh, Asphira. Brody high across the top. Snipes. Good read off the wall, has an opportunity here, but not enough boost to take advantage. And Sanji with great back wall defense is up to it early. Oh, that's a dangerous clear. Sanji just has to pull it on net. There it is. Great transition up field. Took a little bit longer than game number one, but UCF will find the first goal of game two. And it's Bulby again with just a dime downfield. I mean, that is a cross pitch pass about, you know, three quarter length of the pitch. It just finds the defender and just absolutely buries it, my friend. That is skill and class, wonderful attempt. Yeah, the accuracy of the pass plays between these players, they'll find another read off the backboard. Is It's just incredible. I mean, we saw that one goal from uh, it was Boldy down to Asfira in game one, where Asfira had commit to a position to take a shot before Boldy had even touched the ball. And what do you know, is just dead on accurate. You just see that continue to be the case as time moves forward here. 
this just may be David versus Goliath, and unfortunately, unlike the myth, this may not go oh. the way of the little man here, and that's just filthy double touch there. Good you can't, lord. You can't start in on David versus Goliath with me. I, my, my regular co-casters are painfully aware of this fact. Uh, historically, <laughs> David versus Goliath was just so heavily in favor of David, it's not even funny. It was more the story of, of don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Slingshot being that the Bronze Age equivalent of a of a firearm, but that's a whole historical <laughs> aside that's not totally prevalent to Rocket League. <laughs> We're seeing UCF slow down the scoring a little bit. We're getting a little bit more pressure out of Clemson Purple than we've seen in game number one, but they're still struggling to find that last touch to put a shot on net. Uh, they're starting to control the mega boost there in midfield. Uh, that might be a little bit of you know, and they're also getting into the corners as well. Uh, the physicality in front of the net has also been upped by Clemson. So this is a bit of an adjustment, a little bit of recalibration of their tactics. I love to see this. You know, they're not giving up. And, you know, they're having the good-natured banter going on in the middle. I mean, this could still open up. I still want to see them get on the board right away. Good pass to center. Brody's up early. That's on target. Great play out of Clemson, just like you asked for. There it is, cutting the lead in half. Never giving up on the play and just seeing the trailing player coming through. That is a beautiful layoff pass there for the Steve Rath. And I said, you know, opportunistic in front of goal. Yeah, that's a clear vision of that right there. Beautiful look to center. And there is going to be the answer back out of UCF. They're just so quick, so aggressive, so dominant. Such a tough team to beat. Oh, Lars, that was like an Unagi. Slippery like an eel. <laughs> absolutely filth coming off the kickoff there and i mean they can score at will i i i mean i believe they may have just want to let him get on the board there i'm not sure i mean it was a great setup uh from the previous goal for clemson but now you know brody get a little bit more physical i like that nice 50 in the air that sets up a nice opportunity down in the offensive third good luck as clemson continues to build just a little bit more pressure than we've seen so far a bit more even of the back and forth. That one passed to center. Brody's up early. I'd like to see how Clemson's getting a little bit more aggressive in the defensive end, not allowing as many passes, as many opportunities in front of the net. Snipes gets it past one. Good defensive rotation from back post. We'll send this deep down. Bowlby with a shot on target. Not enough power, and T-Rath will collect an easy save. There's Santi with another opportunity too high. Bowlby to re-attack with another shot too high and wide. And finally, the pressure is released as that ball's cleared deep down into UCF territory. Now another opportunity off the back wall. Bulby's up and has a miss, but his Furo will collect. Oh, and I mean, I think that's just the fear of the counterattack coming out from the Knights uh, that kept them from really committing forward. And uh, they really haven't been burned on many double and triple commits. So, you know, I, I think that they can maybe venture just a little bit more forward. Nice little corner pass into the care. I'm looking for a teammate there, but nobody trailing snipes. Might be able to lay it in again. Good repeat pressure, wide open net. Snipes dunks through the quarter. Board, Brody, oh my goodness, Bordy. Brody with the easy finish keeps this one competitive within one. And love to see that 50 50. We talked about this last time you and I were casting together. 50 50 is the mechanic to dominate the field. Yeah, and I mean, Brody is really starting to get into him. So it's Snipes and Snipes and Brody. I mean, I, I was talking about this at the beginning. They are a savage playmaking duo. And if they can get any kind of confidence going, even if they lose game number two here, I think that it serves them well for game number three. And, you know, you could start the reverse sweep right here. You could also tie it up. You still got a minute left. And if they get a couple of good touches and nice, soft, competitive touches out of the back defensive third, I think this is where you really lean into that. Brody with a great carry to the back wall. Bulby has a good read. Yes. Fast, fast aggression out of Clemson right now. Really not giving any space to UCF. That's exactly what they need to be doing. There's a good clear downfield. Bulby with a very safe rotation back. Will buy themselves an opportunity to pick up a safe. Snipes goes low. Santi is there in time. It was a great shot. What awareness to get that shot on net. Unfortunately, UCF just has a very stable rotation to the back end. I mean, there was a there was a like half a pixel there where they could have actually scored that uh, if they would have just rotated the frame of the car just a little bit. Nice little 50-50 there from uh, Sphere, but it does not get them the result they want. I mean, last touch mm. here. I mean, that's still way better from Clemson. They upped the aggression. They upped the physicality as well. And I, we talked about this last time we were on cast. 
Mm -hmm. The 50-50 challenges that are going aerial, they're starting to turn in Clemson's way. I don't know if they're pre-jumping, if they're predicting the watch of the ball. Maybe they're going a little bit wider in their rotations instead of you know going so much more like a, a heat-seeking missile towards the ball. They're giving a wider berth, uh, you know, taking a bigger view of the landscape and seeing what kind of angle and tangent that ball is going to be on and getting up in the air. I'm loving this from Brody right now. Brody is starting to really up the aggression. I, I think that if he can get snipes on the same page as him, we'll really be looking at a different thing. But t uh has been getting some beautiful touches high in, in the uh, corners of the offensive third. And I mean, we saw the first setup of that beautiful goal. Let's see if we can get t to get physical as well. I just want to point out real quick about upping aggression. One demo in that game. Now, to the credit, it is a Clemson demo on a UCF night, but one demo you can see here in the midfield. But the corollary to that is, look at this. They're much more spread out over the field to bring a lot better pressure downfield onto that UCF net. We just need more. Right? That's really the answer is just more. <clears throat> I mean, they're, and they're really favoring uh, the wing play right now. So I think, you know, we talked about this last week. Uh, why not throw it up the gut just a little mm -hmm. bit uh, to give a different eye level to the Knights? Uh, you know, maybe give a little give and go. I mean, Brody and Snipes have great synergy together. So let's see if they can maybe get the give and go going on because you can break uh, somebody's axles very easily with the give and go. So we'll see if they can bring that out here. Uh, kick off going in favor of the Knights, but t is back there to collect the ball. Pressure in favor of UCF. Place we find ourselves very often. Now Snipes has a great pinch for the UCF player to send us down. T-Rath an opportunity. Sends that one just a little bit too high. Rotates to the front of the net. Good bump. Good finish. Snipes will find the top shell. Oh, something we love to see here, Lars. It's the goal line bumps. It's the not giving up on the play. It's the ability to get in there and just take command of the offensive third. First lead of the night for Clemson. I told you. The confidence may have been building because of those goals and because of the passing plays and the upwards aggression coming out of Clemson. This is what I wanted to see. Yeah, the big thing as well is, is again, building confidence on plays is you always ask for players to get up in the face of a more dominant opponent. Don't give them space! What a touch by Brody! Not Brody, it was uh, Snipes, I believe. t rat there we go. Let's just go through the whole team. t rat <laughs> with a big save there, touching that one up into the top corner. <clears throat> what was I saying? confidence building confidence it's great to see we ask players to get more aggressive in the face of dominant opponents and a lot of times what happens is they do end up getting more aggressive and they get burned and they end up backing off i'm like no you just have to lean into it harder right now clemson got in the face of ucf they found a lot of success with it and it's helped them build this confidence in getting in the face of ucf i tell you what else lars is the fact that these soft touches coming out of the defensive third uh, they're not just booming the ball like they were kind of forced to in the first game. Mm -hmm. They're having softer touches. They're having more control. They have a definite definition of where they want to go with the ball. They have intent behind their passes. Yeah, usually those two things are, are counter to each other. It's picking up speed and, and losing control is usually how it goes. But Clemson's done a beautiful job of playing faster and more controlled against this team. Now with a big opportunity to put one on. That one's just wide. Fira will allow that one to bounce off the back wall and start the transition for them. Oh, but that's a great touch going back in from Brody, and he's calling up his own ball. Get up in the air, misses the 50-50 challenge. That might come back to burn them. Touch through mid as Fira throws this high on the back wall. Brody's already up, but oh my goodness, so is, <laughs> is, so is Santi. Wow. Bulby into the corner. Staying close behind that one. It's a little bit of a confusing play through the corner and it almost gets to the center but Clemson's starting to really stack that near post and really make it difficult for UCF to find the slot I mean we're we're kind of silent on Santi right now uh Santi scored a goal in the first game and not much since oh my god that is pressure <laughs> and a barrage on the goal the woodwork once again coming to the aid of Clemson good lord how many times can you just be denied by the woodwork oh my goodness that's oh jeez UCF can't buy a goal here. Now there's one with an opportunity. Oh, it's barely touched off the post. It's not enough. It just delays the pain. That's a beautiful save. Unfortunately, it's going to get punished in the end regardless. Good. I mean, the pre-jump, the prediction, the managing a boost to get up there, and then just the stuff back. I mean, that's a slam home. Unfortunately, the early commit 
out of Snipes, or out of Brody there. Snipes just came up with a gem of a save. There's a demo that we haven't seen very much out of the Knights tonight. Yeah, they haven't really needed to lean onto that physical play, but I would encourage every player everywhere to really, really embrace the violence in Rocket League because it's such an effective strategy at all levels. This one <clears throat> touched across, Brody into the corner. T-Rath with an opportunity oh. well met by Bulby. Now another opportunity up. Snipes wisely backing off and picking that one up at midfield. This girl will continue the pressure down. The beautiful pass. Santi, now the shot. But Brody diving across will clear this one away. Turns it back around. Gets the flick over one. But Bulby is up. Good patience to turn that one clear. Less than 90 seconds remain. One to one between UCF and Clemson Purple. Oh my gosh, Brody is just absolutely on fire right now with his rotation. They are absolutely uh, in tune with the game right now. The pulse of the match is definitely in Brody's favor. I just want to see one more connecting pass to get out of the midfield, and then I think they get joy on another goal. Try not to acknowledge chat too much, but this this copy pasta is hilarious. <laughs> Snipes <laughs> putting one down into the corner. d Rath <clears throat> will contain, excuse me. A little bit of Canadian standoff with UCF. They get it figured out as Fira will put one on. And late in game number three as Fira threatens to take this at a sweep. Oh, man. And, I mean, you saw the attempt at the bump there and just absolutely gets burned. Oh, man, that's a dagger into the confidence of Clemson. I think they can still come back. Uh, but now it's time to throw balls at the wall and just absolutely go full tilt. Hammer down. Let's see if you can get it in the next 45 seconds. Snipes, good clear. Shadow with Bulby. Throws that one across the mid, but Ooh. it's not met. It's one place that UCF has just has been hands down it, an unreal level team is in that passing accuracy and commitment. Now, Bulby sending one. Oh, great touch out of the corner. Snipes looking to pick one up, but no boost. Doesn't have the ability to come off the wall. This one's going to find center anyways. Brody doesn't have it, but there's oh, oh. Rath just off the corner. That was it to tie. Huge pitch from Esfira, and Sati will get to put a dirty one down. Bulby rips one into the corner. Now one last opportunity upfield in favor of Clemson. This one played down. They need to keep this up. There's no one there. It's off the no! road. Oh, no! There was no one home, but they didn't find it. Now Clemson goes down in a uh! clean sweep to the UCF Knights. Wow. The woodwork wow. absolutely. Oh. Good Lord, they had such a beautiful look. The triple commit was going to be punished in the two smacks of the woodwork. Ay, ay, ay. That is a just heartbreaking way to go down. I mean, you would have favored Clemson with the run of play that was going on. You would have expected them to take the overtime win. My goodness, but still, UCF Knights, pure class. I mean, they had just the real final touches. So that is just absolutely gross. Ugh. Yeah, I feel was, for Clemson, but still. Wow. I, I know. I saw three orange cars in front of that blue net with the ball and no defenders. And I was like, I'll just pass center and tap it home. But they looked for that low angle shot and got punished for a little bit of panic, perhaps. I don't know. But a great showing out of Clemson. UCF is such a good team. And Clemson came out here and brought them to two one goal games back to back after a bit of a rocky start. That mental fortitude to come out and be that consistent and that play so well under those conditions. Just a ton of respect to Clemson. A lot of respect to UCF who again as we mentioned is now well now in the money now that no matter what happens from here on out UCF is walking away with at least $500 and we already know they're going to find their way to the land but we got more Rocket League we got at least two more series for you here tonight we're going to go to a short break stick around we'll be right back
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the CENC Southeast Invitational Virtual Qualifier. I'm still Lars Newton. Joining me here in the casting booth is still the one, the only, the chef, Billy. Upcoming, we have the USF versus the UCF Academy. Second UCF team you're going to see here tonight. USF already qualified for the Invitational per that word invitational. They're an invite team. UCF Academy looking for their qualifying spot, so they have to take them down and then find themselves in the finals. If they do win this match, then they are automatically going to be qualified for the land. Chef Billy, as always, thoughts, questions, concerns, comments, hopes, and or dreams. We have another controlling <clears throat> midfield uh, here coming out of USF. So I want to see this play, which we kind of sort of saw coming out from Clemson uh, in the last game, question mark. But, you know, definitely looking at a different scenario here. Uh, USF, you know, they have Fiend, Sean, and... Uh, burger so we'll see what they can bring to the table versus the academy team uh, i'm looking for reeves and bits really to build the pressure out of their defensive third they have such clean touches and i think playing up against their senior squad has really <clears throat> sharpened steel on steel so what i want to see is the creation coming from bits uh bits plus uh reeves equals scary scary tactics uh and then we're looking uh for lyric Lyric can create something out of nothing. I've seen it so many times. I was watching the quarterfinals back, trying to get ready for tonight. Lyric gets these nutty touches, especially high on the uh, on the in the offensive third. You'll see, you know, either a, a carom pass out of the corner, or you'll look for a double touch off the backboard, right above the goal, waiting for a trailing player to come in and just slam the ball home. So that's where I'm looking at right now for this academy team, but South Florida. I mean, Sean, right now, that's who I'm looking for. I mean, the creation master. Uh, they can really just build something out of nothing as well. So I think that we're going to have two magicians on this team. I'm looking for Sean versus uh, versus Reeves, and we'll just see. <clears throat> we'll see who comes out on top here. Well, uh, real quick, you saw me drinking out of my U.S. flag cup. We are brought to you by the U.S. Army, and there's been a lot of information for them dumped here tonight, so make sure you listen closely and give them a look. But with all that out of the way, all that being said, semifinals, USF versus UCF Academy. Five minutes on the clock. We're off to the races. You know, real quick shout-out to my dad, who was a 34-year uh, veteran of the Army. Uh, he joined when he was 17, and... Uh, uh, retired in 1995 uh, when I was a senior in high school, uh, went through two wars, and I really want to thank him for uh, being the role model that he was, uh, inspired me to join the Navy. And right off the gate, Lyrics is trying to create some serious pressure in front of the goal. UCF playing with tons of control up the field, but they can't seem to maintain it once they get down there. Great pressure, banger, met by Lyric. Now Bits trying to clear, sends this one into the wall, has boost but it's a little a little too eager over the top of the ball, and we'll lose control of that one. Now Banger trying to send a Banger pass over to Fiend. <laughs> a little too upfield. Bits off the ceiling. A good pinch. But met by Sean as Lyrics overplays their hand a little bit. That's kind of been the theme so far in this first 60 seconds as players getting a little too ahead of the ball and losing opportunities. Banger's got an opportunity, and we'll find it as Reeves doesn't get a great touch. Well, and, and Banger was the one that I was worried about the most. I mean, Banger can absolutely hold the midfield and then just take these opportunities out of the midfield in the aerial battles and just dunk balls home. This is a fully realized three-man team. This threes team coming out of South Florida is absolutely in synergy. Their chemistry is so beautiful together, Lars. I, but, you know, I, I'm looking at Central Florida. I want to see this academy team really take it to, you know, what I would expect to be uh, the favorite team here in South Florida. USF. Oh, my goodness. We're going to put a pressure on. There is back-to-back. -back. Bean and Sean can't quite find it. Look at the touch. Met by Sean. Oh. You asked for those high-flying 50-50s, and, boy, have we seen a lot of those already in these first 90 seconds. And so far, I haven't seen a lot of opportunities coming off the back of them. Bean, Reeves, 50 in the corner. Bits with a good pressure upfield. Sean trying to keep that one clear of the shooting lane, but Lyrics may be able to take advantage. Bits has a shot down. Barely blocked away as this pressure out of UCF is so crushing. The USF will hold on to that one goal lead for even a few seconds longer. Uh, it's, it's just the final touch. 
Mars. I, I think that's really what we're looking at right now is just the final touch is kind of eluding the Academy team here from UCF, but USF, not to be outdone, they are starting to get their passes coordinated as well. I just think that the blanket coverage coming out of the Academy team right now, they are starting to find their pressure. They're starting to find these aerial 50-50s. There we go once again. Nobody up for that. So, I mean, if you keep winning these aerial battles, it's going to net you some serious results in the long run. Ooh, that one almost blocked by a banger, but it's going to be blocked by Reeves instead. 50 in the midfield. Sean, high of the net. Bits is up early. That's a great touch out to the corner. Takes away any kind of follow-up opportunity. Banger back into the mid. Beans will leave that for Sean. Now Lyrics turns up field to clear that away. Ends up back passing to awaiting Sean, who doesn't have the angle to put it on net. Cross clear. Reeves stays on this one. Bean across the front of the net. Sean puts a shot on. Woo! What a read. What a cut. And puts that lead out to two. Like a knife, Mars. That was absolute fill. And I mean, Sean, right place, right time. Bits of pre-jump, just not soon enough. That's a 2-0 lead to the Bulls from South Florida. And I'm just wondering, you know, Academy, they've got to up the aggression right now. I think if you up the tempo just, you know, maybe 20%, I think that will get them a lot more positive results. I think they're playing a little bit tentative right now. Lyrics, touch out of the corner, banger. It's a right back into that same corner. That's a shot and a half, but a pinch off the post. We'll keep that one clear. Bits now turning that pinch into an upfield clear opportunity for Lyrics. Beat out by Fiend over the top. Will not find his way clear of the USF. And Reeves looking for that double touch and the great back wall defense. Really out of both of these teams makes it so difficult to get those follow-up opportunities. Yep, and I mean, once again, 50-50 in the corner. Even though it didn't net them positive results, it still puts a little bit of doubt in the back of the mind of South Florida. So, you know, they're going to be thinking, you know, can I go into this 50-50 challenge in the quarter and come out unscathed? Corner 50s are always so dangerous for the defender because there's not a lot of places that ball can go. Oh, there's a back wall for that ball. I mean, I think if you think about it, it's going to go into the corner and pop out high center. It's going to go into the wall and pop out low center, or it's going to go into the back wall and be back passed out to that waiting midfield attacker. I think it's honestly better to try to avoid those corner 50s. Now Sean, bring that one up. Lyrics keeping this one high. Tries to waterfall that down, but Sean's very patient on the back wall. Banger waiting patiently themselves. Has no boost. Has to be able to get down to this one, but Fiend waiting. Lyrics, good pass down to Bits, who tries to keep this one up. Met by Sean. This one out in front of the net. Great read by Banger. Reeves is up early. Good midfield 50. Let's try to keep this one in. 10 seconds left on the clock. UCF needs two goals in very short order. But USF is not about to allow that one to happen. I think not enough time left. And USF takes game number one. But, man, what a hard-fought challenge. This is blue-collar redneck uh, Rocket League at its finest. You're going to the corner 50-50s full tilt. You're going into the aerial 50-50s full tilt. You're grinding, you're rotating, you're cycling in the corners. You're going for every midfield challenge. And right now, you know, the physicality is definitely in the favor of Academy, but USF has had the better touches in the final third. That's the real difference. I mean, you've, you've got the communication. Maybe that might just be the slight little edge right now is that there's better comms coming out of USF. So I think Academy needs to talk more. They need to catch their rotations a little bit better. I mean, this was as close as it could be. It may have been 2-0, but it was such a close to nil. Whoo, boy. Yeah, that was that we saw great looks out of both sides of the ball. USF just was able to find those last little bits to find the back of the net. Bits no! almost own goals, but Lyrics will bail them out. It wasn't an own goal attempt. It was a back pass, <laughs> of course, to the center of the net, halfway into the goal. Banger, we're going to clear up field. That's a great pass attempt, but Lyrics reads that one so well and is up early to cut that passing lane. Now Banger tries to put it over. Bits collects that one. Challenged by Sean Reeves upfield. Fiend into the corner. Lyrics trying to put a shot on. Low 50. Flicked over the top. Bits keeps that one contained. UCF was doing a great job on the midfield contained, but it had to break sooner or later. 
Unfortunately for them, USF doesn't get a great look out of that. Fits through the top. 60 seconds gone and not a great look either way on the net. Ooh, here's this an opportunity. Could be a beautiful oh, there it is. Reeves goes for the squishy save, but it's way premature. This banger just happily plays this one. Oh, it's not squishy. They're just floating in front of the net. Okay. Well, um, that's a position yeah. to defend from, I guess. Yes. <laughs> maybe he does a little premature <laughs> on the on the leap there. Just maybe this is slightly. So, uh, I mean, still, I, I think the aggression that Academy is showing, especially in the midfield, uh, these 50 50 challenges are really going their way. Um, uh, maybe a little softer touch. Uh, maybe a little bit, oh, I am just saying it again, once a little more communication uh, because physicality is definitely there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they are, I mean, it's not a lack of talent or skill or anything like that. I mean, even just looking down here at UCF's, uh, you know, tags on their team, season three tournament winner, season three tournament winner, CRL Spring 2021 contender. I mean, this is, there's a lot to be happy here with this UCF team and, you can see it on the field. They make great challenges. They generally don't double commit, even though you see one there across the midfield. And they bring great pressure downfield. It's just USF's defense is so rock solid. And that's where you need to bring out that physicality we keep asking for. Get some demos, get some bumps, and it's going to be very quickly break down some of this UCF defense. Ooh, USF, boy, Sean had a beautiful look there. Dangling ball in front of the goal. No joy there, Reeves, with a little bit of boost. Maybe has a chance to carry forward. Ooh, there's that physicality, but it's not in front of the net enough to get the finish. I love that awareness out of Reeves, however, recognizes that they're very low boost on that aerial. It says, well, how can I extend this a little bit? Grab a flip reset and try to get a little bit more out of it. They just don't quite have the space to take advantage. Great pass into Fiend. Fiend will find the back wall. There's oh one across Lord. the front. Banger, slow played, gets outplayed, and Lyrics is up, ready for this one. Sends that one across the top. No one's there to take advantage, but Lyrics will prevent the Banger clear. Oh, man. Lars, I, I think that if there's a quick re recognition of, you know, a neutral ball, uh, kind of right, you know, kind of mid-center, uh, almost to the midline, I think that they catch the rotation a little bit faster, speed up the rotation cycle right now. I think that they can catch USF out on a kind of a dime, you know, a kind bit, of a lull. A little bit faster, he says. Do you see the pace of this game? Oh my goodness, these guys are hauling up and down the field. But no, I, I understand what you're saying. It, it's just so difficult with USF. I mean, how do you squeeze that much more speed out to try to beat this very solid defensive rotation? Reeves oh, with the first goal for UCF of the series, sneaks it through two defenders. Not giving up on the play there, Lars. And I mean, look at the cut. It's a beaut. Oh my goodness. Nine ball in the corner pocket. Let's go. That one's almost pinched out. I mean, that was, you don't get closer to save without it being saved than that. I, that was so, so on the edge. But at the end of the day, it's enough to tie this up. Just over a minute left, 60, 71 seconds. And these teams are even as ever. UCF looking to pick up their first win of the series and tie the series score. USF looking to put themselves on match point. Good carry. Center pass from Fiend. No, that one's going to go out through the corner. Reeves, slow plays, and allows Sean to dive hard on that. Now Bits, low boost. Lyrics is up. Bits is bumped. This one will be cleared back the other way. USF chasing into the corner. Reeves off the back wall, met by Banger. That's that high 50 that we so love to see. Now an opportunity across the front of the net. Sean dumps into the corner. Banger tries to put this one off the back wall. Reeves has a great read. Lyrics out to Bits. Bits is up. Oh, but it's caught in the passing lane by USF. Oh, my gosh. This is exactly what we want to see. The back and forth, end-to-end -end action. This is Pure Rocket League at its finest. This is high caliber play right now. And here's the chance. They got the boost, they got the dunk ability. Do they get the double touch? Oh, it's so close. We may see our first overtime of the evening as this ball in the corner. Zero seconds will play down. Re no, Reeves catches it. That one's a cover across the front of the net. Not quite. Bean meets. Another push through the corner and wisely played down by USF. There comes a point 
where you say, okay, we're under a, such established pressure. Just kill it. We'll take the face off, and that'll be as good as a clear. Well, I mean, they've upped the ante here in the aggression department, and uh, I mean, the setup right now between Banger and Fiend is just not on the same caliber as I saw them in the quarterfinals. I think they've recognized that this is a dynamic duo. Great demo right there. Great little pinch attempt off the side there, but no joy. And now here comes the counterattack. Oh, what a great look in front of the net for UCF, but it's Matt. And this is something both these teams do so exceptionally well is recognizing the passing plays, but not quite well enough. Woo! Sean on the crossbar will find the winner in overtime. Oh, that was a wonky touch from Bits. Oh, you hate to see that in overtime. They work so hard to pull themselves level. Lars, my goodness, my friend, that was absolutely heartbreaking 2-0 lead now to USF the Bulls from South Florida are absolutely clutching when it matters the most however I don't think that this is going to be a 3-0 sweep the mental being shown by the academy team of UCF right now getting that goal on the board was exactly what they needed and they were showing just such great control coming out of their defensive third wonky touch aside from bits I mean, yeah, the passing play was absolutely huge, crucial. Yeah, I mean that that's that's the only difference. That's the only difference was one mistouch in the defensive end, deep into overtime, and USF takes that one. Could have easily gone the other way, where USF makes a a bit of a screwy touch and UCF punishes because they're so quick to be there to punish. Hey, I, I, if we don't see at least a game four, we've been robbed, I tell you! Oh my Whoa, goodness! Talk about being robbed! Robbed themselves, and there's oh, another twice. one in the save across the front of the net. Oh my goodness! No. There it is, eventually USF, <laughs> with the repeat pressure, will find it. But holy goodness, UCF, what a stand. My heart just exploded, Lars. Excuse me while I go give myself an AED and uh, resuscitate myself because I had heartbreak and heart attack there from those saves. The suicidal push there from USF absolutely netting them full results. Yep, here we go. We're gonna see the uh, intensometer absolutely oh. ratchet it up. What the save from Banger, are you kidding me? Triple commit on the save, but it was a beautiful setup there out of UCF. I thought Reeves was coming off the back wall to try to play that one down, flat angle onto the back of the net. Would have been a crazy shot, but no. That last player from UCF coming up the center. It's a great pass. It's a great look. Jeez, USF is just so solid in the defensive line. Three players able to commit on that one and not get burned. This is the epitome of what Rocket League should be right here. It's the committal to pure aggression. Look at that bitch right up in his face on the shot. Are you kidding me? Mm. No! Oh no, Bits. Bits had the wide open net, and it's admittedly a tough cut to get that one down into the net, but when you have a competition this close with a team this good, you have to score those goals. You just can't afford to be giving away anything at this point. Lyrics trying to give away that ball. It's tucked in wow. by Reeves. Great pass, great read, and a great corner slot. Dude! Look at Lyric. Did not give up on the play whatsoever. The high wall climb there and just getting the ball. So ever so gently down in front of Reeves and Reeves just slammed it home, slammed the door shut. Oh my goodness, that's, that's what a look. What a look. Oh, it's beautiful. Now Bits trying to show another one. Banger out to the wall, follows through. That's why you follow your touches. One touched away back into the corner. Now Sean rolling it back through. Again, as Thunder B would love to say, playing that corner ball. Oh, that's a good look from Bits. Almost with the bump on Fiend. That would have been almost a sure thing at that point. Fiend dodges the bump and gets the clear. Now Banger right out to Reeves, who's up quick to follow. Sean has a great jump after that one, but they're a little bit slow and will bump off Banger. Oh, goodness, just catches UCF out of position and punishes them for it. Oh, Lars, they caught a mid-rotation there. I mean, I mean, Reeves went up way too early on that one. He knew he was dead to rights there. I tell you what, the, the level of play has gone up tenfold here, and we're starting to see even more exquisite 
Rocket League out of these two teams. That might be an easy score. Whoa, Bits. Hello. Another beautiful save. Coming up on halftime in game number three. UCF down two to nothing. USF. Oh, the squishy save Bits. from Lyrics. What a touch. Reeves trying to get this one in front of the net. No boost. Now Fien trying to put another one on, but there's that high 50 banger into the corner. Both players up off the backboard. Reeves gets his downfield. There's one player in net trying to get this one through. Fien has a great challenge, but Bith will put another one on. We're tied yet again. Ah, uh, they're starting to figure out the rotation of, of USF right now, Lars. I mean, you can see it. Reeves came right out of that goal and knew exactly where they would need to be, and Bith, I mean, they're starting to get this goal line bumps as well. The physicality on the goal line and in front of the net they're starting to block out the goaltender, and this is what you want to see. You want to see them change up the tactics just slightly because their aggression is really being rewarded. And Reeves, I mean, they're starting to really up the ratcheting of this pressure in the 50 50 aerials. I love it! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 2v1. Reeves is up but gets dunked. There it is. The lead right back to USF. This is so competitive. It's unbelievable. Banger over top, and it's just not enough from Reeves to get that one clear. Bits, unfortunately, overcommitted on the 50-50 challenge on the ground there and left their team dead to rights. So I think that just one little cleanup. It's just a mistake here and there, Lars. That's the only difference in this series right now. Everything is being laid out on the pitch. I'm loving what I'm seeing. I love the competitiveness from both these teams. I want to see game four at least. Well, UCF's going to have to find at least two more goals to make that happen. But USF is on the attack. Lyrics way upfield, bumping and bullying that third rotation. Bits will send one deep. Sean is up, but doesn't get punished. Bits contain it midfield. That one's down to Reeves, who throws it into the back wall. But that back ball defense out of Sean is so good. You just, they're not going to get punished with it. You have to find a new way to open up the net. I think really, you know, the fact that Sean is uh, taking a kind of a side role here instead of being the star of the team and being the showmaker uh, is playing more of the support role, being there when they need him the most. And he is absolutely getting these defensive rotations down. Big difference why we have the scoreline that it is. 45 seconds left on the clock. USF looking to close and a clean sweep. But man, has this been a battle to this point. Banger, high 50, Reeves in the corner, slows down, collects, baits in Sean, needs to get past Fiend, but Fiend, his 50s are so good. Lyrics across, it's not enough for Reeves to take advantage of it. Reeves will go off the sidewall here, I believe, low on boost, and they just go ahead and bait a 50 out. There's a shot. Oh! Bits, just stuffed by Banger, but that's danger. Will Robinson, this one also in front of the net. Lyrics will send this one downfield, USF. Content to just keep pressure on. Kill the final few seconds off the clock. Reeves, one more opportunity stuffed by Sean. Now they just need to put this down, and USF will be in the money. Bits looking to catch, pops it over one. This could be the zero second. Bits on net. There, there it is. is. You get overtime. Let's go. Hello. Finally, the punish off the triple commit. Oh, Fiend almost got a frame on this. Oh, my Lord. That is what wow. you want to see. This is what we deserve. Chat, let us know how you feel about that. UCF, please got to see the dub here after a showing like that. They will send this one deep down into USF territory. Now, across the top. Not a great angle on that one. Bits tries to pass it down to Lyrics, but a little bit too much. Reeves off the side wall, picks this up. Fiend clearing downfield. Reeves, a quick little pop up. Following with a lot of boost. Leaves this one for Bits. Bits looking for that double touch. Tries to blaze this one down. It's on net, and there it is. There it is. UCF taking it over time. Let's go. That is absolutely stunning out of Reeves. Recognize that they didn't have the boost to stay aerial. So they lay it off to Bits, and Bits gets the double pinch off the backboard, and that is putting us into game number four. This might be the turnaround. This might be the start of the reverse sweep. UCF fans, please get your brooms out because 
this could be the start of something absolutely beautiful. This is some of the best Rocket League I have ever had the chance to to be a part of in any way, shape, or form. And uh, <laughs> just won't flex. I've done RLCS. Uh, <laughs> kidding. I just for real though. This is so competitive. This is so close. This is so insane to see these two teams going at it with each other. And I mean, even look at over here on the activity heat map. I mean, look. That's pretty even. That that looks pretty balanced between these two teams. It's just wild. I don't have a whole lot to say other than this is everything we wanted out of a series and more. If we don't go to game five, would you like to see that back? If we don't go to game five, we're just... we. Uh, but look, from, from UCF Academy, Lars, look. Yeah, up they're getting the up gut. field. Up the gut. Yeah, yeah, you they're got getting it. up the field and they're going up gut as well. <laughs> they're starting to play up the middle as well and then starting to use the wings as more of an accessory rather than an initiation. And that is the big difference right now is that they are taking these 50-50 aerial challenges. That I mean, it's been back and forth all night. We've loved it. I mean, I, I'm squealing from the anticipation of these 50-50 aerial challenges. Who's going to come out? Because we don't know because it's been pretty even. So now, whoa. Middle play, up the gut, going side, and just taking these touches. I mean, the touches are starting to become more crisp from the UCF Academy <laughs> no, no, as well. This is how it's no, going to no, no. play out. <laughs> this is it. So we got to see we got to see the pros battle it out. Now we get to see the bots. <laughs> that would have been that would have been fun. That would have been a lot of fun to get that contrast back and forth. That would have been hilarious, but. That's not how this one is going to go. We are going to wait until the players can get back into the into the lobby. <laughs> and, and uh, Lars, Lars has uh, unfortunately had a little time bomb go off, and <clears throat> it's gone right there. No, but seriously, I mean, really, the 50-50 challenges, uh, aerial-wise, both teams fully committing to it. And now we're seeing that UCF Academy is getting more joy out of it. I think they're predicting – where the ball is going to shoot out. I think we may have had a couple of questionable touches in the defensive third coming out of USF as well. So what mm -hmm. we want to see right now, up the tempo even more. And I know that you said they're already hauling butt around the pitch, but I am somebody that loves speed and I want to see more. And I think that this up tempo that we've seen coming out of UCF Academy, Lars, is why they're starting to get so much more physicality much more oppression into the offensive third they're having some great touches on the goal on their own goal line as well i mean there was so many epic saves there my heart stopped a couple of times and i i'm okay with this because you know this is what i live for i mean i i'm a, I'm a football fan or a soccer fan as, as big as they come right and i played soccer competitively and i mean loving to see just them throwing this out there they're still on match point, but I, mm -hmm. I swear to everything, I think Academy is going to come out with a 3-2 win here because that win just boosted their confidence above the stars right now. I've done, I've went ahead and did it. I wasn't going to do it. I brought out the eye of Newt. So we're going to start looking at actual player speeds. But I do want to, to your point about player speed, is <clears throat> I think players should be messing up due to speed. I don't know. 5 to 10% of the time, if you're 100% with everything you do, you're not going fast enough. You're too comfortable in your play, and you're not really squeezing your opponent with speed. So these players, <clears throat> for the most part, have been extremely solid and extremely controlled. So as fast as they've been, I think you're right. We can go faster. We can go deeper. Enhance. Enhance. Sean Reeves up high. Lyrics looking to play this one off the back wall. We'll keep Great this one touch. threatening in front bits. Again, the high 50s. There's nothing free. There's no free lunch here. Every touch is challenge banger. We'll play that one low and give the early lead to USF. Well, the Amtrak just left Orlando there and uh, bowled through uh, Jacksonville. So bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> and that's a great little goal there. But, I mean, it's only less than a little over 30 seconds out the gate. And, you know, I, I think they may have gotten a little bit juiced up uh, from that little bit of a break. And then they maybe had a little bit of calm. So I think they need to have a little bit of sip of Kevin oh. to get them. Oh, Lord, it's a great setup. Lyrics finishing off the pass from Bits. That is absolutely beautiful. This is 
textbook. You don't get a better transition play than that. You do not get a better transition play than that. You get all three players involved. You get both players leaking up when they know they've got control in the defensive end, and you catch your opponents absolutely scrambling defensively. Everyone from USF out of position, not in a good place to try to make a save there. It's when you can affect a transition that fast with passes, you're just absolutely uh -oh. deadly. Unfortunately for UCF, Fiend will look like they're getting a free one here. They don't get there in time, and we continue to see a tie game. How do you just up and go like that? I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm I'm absolutely uh, channeling my inner uh, Jim Gaffigan right now. Hot pocket. Seriously. Oh, look. God, Fiend, great positioning on that shot attempt. Like we get this one cleared back down, feel a little bit more of that quicker transition play that we started to see at the end of game number three there. Less controlled, contained offense. It's kind of to be expected with the number of challenges that we're seeing here. Off the back wall, missed touch. Fiend puts it wide. Oof. Need to see those find their way into the back of the net. Sean over the top. Lyrics. It's their first. Fiend off the ceiling, has an opportunity. Bits with a great quick challenge. Who's going to be back to this one first? Nobody. Bits off the post and in. will take the lead in favor of UCF. I mean, that was not on very good boost as well. I mean, the little bounce down. Uh, upper 90 kiss off the woodwork. I thought it was going to save the Bulls there, but nah. Academy now with the lead. Just under three minutes to go. And now, uh, I need to see some tactics, tactical shifts coming out from the Bulls here from South Florida. Oh, uh, I'm a little bit worried for them. They may have been punched in the mouth a little too hard. Eric's going to put one on. Good back wall defense. One thing I'm noticing is the game has actually slowed down a little bit between these two teams. And, and I think after the stress of game three, I think everyone's happy to just be like, hey, let's just take a second to think and play a little bit slower. Bits passes this one over to Lyrics. Puts that one off the wall. Has one more touch. No, they're just underneath it. Reeves will prevent the clear. Sends this one towards the mid. What a touch! But Lyrics is already rotating through. They were looking for that front of the net bumper demo, which I think is the right play. Unfortunately, had they just turned around or threw the brakes on, they could have picked up a goal there. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the 50-50 challenge are still kind of leaning towards the academy team from UCF. However, the Bulls are starting to get uh, massive touches. Oh, my God, how do you miss the open net like that? Oh, uh, with the pressure and speed you got to play at. That's how. I mean, you just, you, you're so much pressure playing against this team of USF. I mean, you just, it, it gets to you. I mean, these players have crazy mental fortitude, but, you know, they're still human bits. Oh, tries to throw one in the top shell. Fiend gets a free touchdown field, but Lyrics has that early rotation back to play this one safe. Now, Sean, that back wall touch. Reeves has no boost to follow. Oh, now they got a free 33, courtesy of Sean. Lyrics, no boost to follow. That one banger puts this one into the back wall where Reeves is waiting. Sean to center, Fiend to the top. And Banger looking to clean this one up, but they will not just yet. Bit well played, well read. Keeps that one clear. UCF retain their advantage. Sub 60 seconds, and UCF threatening to take this one to game five. I mean, important touches coming from the defense here out of the academy team from UCF. I mean, they are not going down with a fight. There's the equalizer coming out of the Bulls. That is absolutely massive out of Fiend. Fiend has been so absolutely dominant defensively for the Bulls, but finally getting to show their offensive prowess here in the corner, laying that home beautifully. Less than 40 seconds. Oh, man. I, I'm going to risk the curse and ask, do we see back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back overtimes between these teams? Being slow playing in front of their net. Lyrics challenges. Now Bits with a challenge. This one's across the front. Lyrics Recognizing Reeves isn't there to follow up. We'll play the control play into the wall. Lyrics picks up a save on a great 50. Sean forced to rotate back out. Lyrics throws one towards the net, but it just doesn't have the finesse 
to be a real threat. Now Banger off the ceiling has an opportunity. Goes for the double touch. Oh, no. What a look. Uh, if that had gone in, I think it would have lost my mind. Now it looks like we could see it. One more opportunity. Lyrics pops this one up, throws it towards the back wall. Fiend will play this one down, and there it is. Triple overtime. You love to see it. And now it all comes down to the golden goal. Uh, that's going to be on net, perhaps? Oh, there's a nice touch, but gets 50 in the air and actually loses it. That is going against the great of play there, Lars. And now, shot on goal. It goes in. We get a game five. Let's go. <laughs> there it is. Threatening the reverse sweep is UCF after two hard fought losses in games one and two. They are going to find two back to back overtime victories. We are going to game five. Both of these teams. Uh, absolutely deserving if if the the worst happens for UCF and they don't win this game and they don't find themselves in the land I think it's a disservice to UCF I mean USF uh, you're already there I just but they're not they're not gonna let off the gas I mean they're they're playing for the money you know this is it this whoever wins here is in the money they're guaranteed at least five hundred dollars walking away from this tournament <laughs> it's I think I don't know if there's much left to be said I think we've kind of hammered all the points home and we've talked about everything we need to talk about I think at the end of the day we just have to see who comes out on top both teams have shown us that they're absolutely incredible competitors just time will tell <clears throat> if i had my own dithers about me right now uh based upon the semifinal results going game five here for the academy team from ucf versus what we saw at the clemson purple i'd have to throw it uh to ucf academy because they've taken it to a game five they've won two games in their semifinal that would be how i would put it out there but we'll see how it uh, actually plays out <clears throat> Reeves looking for early pressure. Lyrics into the corner. Well met by Fiend. Bits off the wall. Sends that one down in front, but there's no one there from UCF. That's a great look from USF, and they will take advantage of it. That's a quick transition that catches your opponents in a bad spot. It absolutely does, and I mean, that's a great touch from Fiend. I mean, that's all set up by the recognition and the spatial awareness of Fiend right there in the... Uh... Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what you want to see coming right out the gate from UCF or USF. So we'll see uh, if the Academy team here from UCF has an answer to this. Nice little touch in front. Oh, oh my oh. Lord. Are you kidding me? Double woodwork touch. That is absolute robbery. Oh, my goodness. That ball was like 80% in the net already. Bits off the ceiling. Looking to use that ceiling touch for a clear. Oh, that one almost finds it. But lyrics. And Fortunately, didn't trust their teammate completely and had already committed to picking up a save there. Reeves off the wall, gets it, eh, I wouldn't say past Sean, but to their advantage. Banger collects, fits in a weird spot here, has to make the challenge on the ball, but that threat of physicality coming out of, I believe that was Sean chasing that one down. And that's why that physical game is so important because at the end of the day, you don't even have to make content. You, contact, you just have to threaten it and you're going to be able to take advantage of your opponents. That's a great vision from Bits, though, going cycling into the corner. Uh, a little bit of a corner boost steal there out of USF, so that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see them denying resources coming out of the Bulls, but threatening balls here in front of net. Nice little touch, nice little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, looking at what... I'm... Oh! Why? Yep, it's the corner pressure. It's the threatening balls coming out from the academy team right now. I mean, they're just not giving up on these plays. And you love to see it. I mean, that's a tie, 330 here left. Game number five, UCF Academy's life on the line right now. USF has already been invited or qualified for the land. So this is their yeah, chance. Who doesn't love $500? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> But who also wants to go play in person and be able to talk smack across the yes. computer? Oh, yes. Oh, man, lands. It's just a whole different environment. And it's just so much fun as a player, as a caster, as a spectator. as a as, At any level, land is just the place to be. 
I tell you what, though, I'm so glad I have no one I need to talk to tomorrow because my voice is going to be absolutely gone. And there's another opportunity in front of the net. The back wall defense coming out. just past the center. Lyrics puts it not quite on enough. Oh, it was a beautiful opportunity. That rotating out bump just cleared the whole net. Lyrics, that's still dangerous in front of the net. Sean tries to play this one down, and they will. Two to one, USF. Just about to halftime. And Lyrics had the beautiful touch there, just could not rotate the car back around. I mean, they almost got there. But 2-1 lead here in game number five, just approaching halftime. I mean, I, I dare to say it. The aggression <laughs> is there. The physicality is there. I, everything in my little tick box has been checked off. So now it just comes down to the individual skill of all these talented players here. In the semifinal, beautiful demolition on Reeves. Reeves has been a defensive force here for the squad from the Academy team. The Bulls are really trying to get it all done and centered and done. Oh my word. I, I mean, I'm gonna, right now. I'm gonna make a bold prediction here. Bold prediction. Uh oh, uh oh. Next, next goal wins is my prediction. If USF scores, it's out of reach. If UCF scores, it's the momentum they need to put in one more and take the victory. Well, that's a great centering ball right there. Nice high wall challenge there from Sean. A little bit of wonky clear. That's going goal. <laughs> <Bow! laughs> These opportunities. Bits sends that one high. Reeves elects not to pressure, understanding that that's not going to be a shooting opportunity no matter what. Reeves off the wall. Great couple of 50s assisted there as Lyrics tries to force that one through. Unfortunately, it's going to put them in an awkward spot defensively. That one's off the post. Sean to come through, but Banger takes it away. That was a shooting opportunity, but Banger too eager to get the touch and can maintain control, sends it to the corner. Oh, but here it is again. Banger looking for one. Lyrics will pick up a save. Now, Bits coming out, sends this one upfield across the midfield line, turned back immediately by Fiend. 65 seconds left. Fiend looking to put a double touch on. That one's touched oh. away. UCF scrambling defensively. They have to get this one clear and buy themselves some breathing room. Uh, I think it's all about the final touch there. Uh, I, I think that if we can get Reeves uh, to be a little bit more aggressive in these goal line stands and take any kind of touch. Oh my God, Fiend almost just sealed the deal. There it is. There's the pass to center and the shot. Lyrics will find it. What a look. What a read. What a just, it's almost like the flying V coming down the field. Reeves with the interference, Lyrics already cutting in, and Banger, it's a valiant effort. It's a quick turn, but it's not enough. Two to two, 41 seconds to go in game five. UCF threatening to the over, threatening the reverse sweep. Oh my God, and there's a shot right on goal. The touch, there it is! Oh my God, lower warm burner from Lyrics. That is absolutely massive. You pulled the Mighty Ducks reference out. I fully love that and lyrics oh my word never ever ever give up on the play we always say that 50 50 challenges are the key mechanic in rocket league my best advice is never give up on your play never give up on the ball always try to follow the play and see what joy you can get open goal though i hope somebody clipped my prediction because if i'm wrong i will happily eat my words but if i'm right I mean, come on, come on. Lars Stradamus over here. Bits challenges midfield shot down towards the center. Fiend met by Reeves. Now awkward in front of the net. UCS has been burned by that before. Bits trying to get this one clear. We'll get it downfield. Fiend trying to get one more opportunity for USF. Lyrics passes that to center, but it's awkward for Banger. Now they have to pick this one up, keep it off the ground. Trying to play that one down. Reeves over top, met by Sean. Sean plays this into the corner. Bits looking to get that one down and it will fall for UCF. They've done it. They've acquired the reverse sweep to get into the money. Oh my goodness, what a turn. Oh, it's so beautiful. UCF goes down hard fought twice. Oh, it's gorgeous. But with this victory, they've secured not only in the money for this tournament, but a slot at land. They are guaranteed to qualify regardless of the grand finals because who they will be facing their other team, the UCF Knights in the Grand Finals, who already has a slot. Wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. So uh, I called it after they won their game. Uh, in game number three, I said, get out the brooms. And we're looking at a reverse sweep. As long as, I, I as, long as we're doing I told you so. I also said next goal wins with UCF down by one. 
it's it, man it's almost as if it's almost <laughs> as if you and i know what we're what we're doing here it, and we're not just like floundering which is the reality of what's happening <laughs> oh it's gorgeous could be i, I just that I, <laughs> that was the game of the tournament i'm just gonna go ahead and call it right now <laughs> i'm scared of what's gonna happen from uh what happens uh in, in the fight in the grand <clears throat> final i mean senior team versus junior team hello this is going to be a grudge match let's see uh if she uh steel really does sharpen steel here and uh you know the academy team might be able to pull out the upset because after a match like that it's either going to go one way uh it's either going to go completely competitive and we're going to see game five or it's going to be you know academy team dumped everything into this game and it's going to be a complete whitewash who knows? Yeah, because I, both these squads probably know each other very well. The only way UCF gets just gets gets swept here is not for a lack of skill or ability. It's because they are all just drenched in sweat after this last <laughs> series, and they can't hold their controllers anymore. Because that that was such an incredible showing out of UCF, and, it, and to all the credit in the world to USF. Oh my goodness, USF came out and played such a series. Oh, it was it was beautiful on both sides of the ball. I mean, that really came down. To we saw four or three overtimes, and every game was a single goal game. I mean, that doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't get closer. I mean, that could have that could have just as easily been USF's series, but it's just that much more sweet that it was not only UCF with the victory to put themselves into the land and in the, into the money, but they did it on a reverse sweep. <sighs> Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, but as much as I'd love to keep just gushing over this series, we have more exciting Rocket League for you here tonight. UCF Knights versus UCF Academy in the grand finals. $1,500 on the line. We'll see you right after this break.
dreams. Uh, I hope that UCF Academy takes the senior squad to task. But I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned that they may have expended all of their energy. And now knowing that they're qualified for the land, maybe they take their foot off the gas pedal a little bit. However, pride dictates that they have to go out there and give it their 100% and kind of show the uh, senior squad that, hey, we are a force to be reckoned with as well. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> we've had a whole bunch of uh, different chains. Yeah, I, I don't think this is who we're looking at for Reno. <laughs> yeah i mean i i agree but uh i mean fifteen hundred dollars is going into the ucf program regardless of who wins yeah. yeah so this could go one of two ways uh either it could be a long extended uh series which i'm not opposed to in any way shape or form but uh, you know, this is all about sending a message too, because, mm -hmm. because the the uh, the LAN could really dispel a lot of notions that maybe the senior squad has over the junior squad. Mm -hmm. We'll have a chance to see what they do here, but uh, yeah, I, I really want to see uh, you know the aggression come out. I, I like I said, I'm wondering if all the competitive energy was thrown out the window there. Uh, against University of South Florida, by the way, they were absolutely beautiful. Um, so we'll see uh, what we can do here and uh, really bring uh, this qualifying session to a fruitful end. But uh, Bulby looks like they may have had a uh, had a, a little <laughs> bit of a connection <clears throat> issue here in our lobby. So they're trying to get that figured out right now. Lasers letting us know what's going on. But I tell you what, you know, we've got. Uh, another day of casting going on tomorrow. The Overwatch finals will be happening tomorrow. It'll be a dividing and juggle God on the cast. And uh, I was taking a look at that. Uh, my, my main main game, which a lot of people may find <laughs> kind of funny is that it's actually Overwatch uh, Rocket League uh, kind of a uh, little shade of second, but uh, I, I'm actually finding myself loving Rocket League even more and more. My first land was at uh, Kansas City, <laughs> was in Kansas City at Level Up Arena. Uh, for Rocket League, and uh, I think I think I we talked about what. that because I've also casted at Level Up Arena in Kansas City, but uh, yeah. it was it was a lot of fun. It was more as a favor to fellow caster Kendo than anything, but uh, it was also a lot of fun. I mean, it's just a lot of high energy. You guys, do you, did you have you did you get a chance to cast with him? Because you guys are just you're both high energy, and I think that would be <laughs> so much fun to watch. So kick me out of here, bring Kendo in and get things set up and ready to go. But speaking of being set up and ready to go, players on the pitch, five minutes on the clock. We're ready to rock and roll in the grand finals. I am so ready for this. I, I, I think that uh, the Academy team, if they can keep the pressure and the energy up, because, you know, the senior squad has had a, a, a match to, uh, you know, have a little bit of a break. So now... <clears throat> You know, maybe either the mental break is going to help them or it's going to be against them because the energy 
that came out from the Academy squad was absolutely massive. The reverse sweep. Oh, it's all to play for right now. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. How has the the Knight squad stayed warm while the Academy squad was in an absolute heater? And is it, like we mentioned a million times, is it back the other way? Were they too warm? Just too much. Colby into the mid, met by Reeves. Santi over top, looking for that double touch action, but finds the crossbar instead. Bits in an awkward position, and it's it's an interesting choice not to take a shot there because Bits really had a very low probability of a save, and yet the Knights elect not to punish. Now Bits off the back wall. Reeves is up, looking to put one down as Kuro will clear. A couple of looks back and forth, about a minute gone, and these teams sit even. Well, uh, my, my thoughts and fears for the Academy team are absolutely dispelled right now. I think that they are ready to go. I think they are filling uh, all of their oats, plus the Wheaties, plus the Cheerios, and the Honeycomb cereal, because that's my favorite cereal <laughs> in the whole world. And, you know, they're filling the adrenaline rush of winning that last series, so they are ready to play. They're ready to take the senior spot to task. Whoa, what a save from Asfura! It's gonna be tough for either of these teams to get an advantage. Right now, UCF Academy averaging as a team 60 plus kilometers an hour, which is just so fast. Oh, I got the crossbar again. Usually we see teams hover 53 to 57-ish kilometers an hour, but Woo! UCF Academy strikes first, putting that speed to their advantage. 50-50 challenge on the ground there by Bits. Following up the play, and then Lyrics, you know, he decided to dummy it out and uh, just let it lay there for Lyrics, and Lyrics finds joy in the back of the net. I mean, almost two minutes off the clock, Lars, and they have a 1-0 lead. Reeves, awkward touch back to his own net. Bulby oh, needs to put one down, but goes high instead. I think Knights, they're, they're looking a little bit too much for those connections. They're spending a little bit too much time. What? Oh! What a beautiful touch out of Lyrics, but it doesn't find the net, it finds the woodwork. I just, what I've been saying though, is, is the Knights, they've had shooting opportunities and gone for passes instead. I understand this is an excellent passing team. They do such a good job of connecting with their teammates, but they've been handed a couple of open shooting opportunities, like that <laughs> one, and Santi finally puts it on. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, they slowed it down loaded down so well in the bump there with the follow through and you get the goal there tied 1-1 just at halftime maybe now the Knights are waking up well <clears throat> still plenty of Rocket League left at least minimum four games between these two teams bits slow across the front of the net Bulby it's gonna waterfall down lyrics knows that and we'll get the clear out to Reeves Santi with a good push and a great 50 to get this deep, deep, deep into Academy territory. I can't just say UCF anymore. <laughs> Santi <laughs> off the wall into Bits. <clears throat> now Bowlby walking that far side. Bits puts an awkward touch across. No one's really there from the Knights team to punish. It will get a quick turn. Now as Fira looking for that double touch. Bowlby looking to finish this one off. This wide as well. Now Bits looking to put one quick downfield. No power. And that will be touched out to the corner. Oh, but the boost steal right there from Reeves is actually crucial uh, in denying any kind of an offensive look there from the senior squad. And now, you know, a little bit of a counterattack. But opportunity available. Sphera, great control through the corner. Double commit defensively. Bulby has an opportunity to put one in, but it's going to find the thread the needle. I thought for sure someone was balling on that. Knights take the lead late in game number one. Well, a double commit on the back wall there and nothing really to do but uh, stare in appreciation at the goal. <laughs> Less than 90 seconds here, Lars, and uh, senior squad up by one goal. Definitely not done by any means. It pops one over. Doesn't get it past Bulby. Reeves, deep, deep, deep across. Lyrics, I love that inverted soft touch off the wheels. It just looks so clean and it's so hard to defend against. Oh. You just have to find a way to put one on net. That one past center. 
after an early challenge. It's exactly what you need against these teams. Either team, it really doesn't matter. You can talk, it's like what you need against UCF in general. It's when you see these things developing to challenge it just so early. The team's doing a good job of that, Reeves. Can find the touch. Two Academy players in the corner allows Santi to take this one all the way back downfield. Two overcrits a little bit, but oh no! no! Oh no! Bits unfortunately goes for the catch and is just a little off. And the, the coach for UCF just as exasperated as we are. Laser, I love you. <laughs> That's all I need to say. <laughs> that one popped off the back wall and just just wind. I don't know about the the academy team, but it's wind out of my sails seeing that happen. We've had such a clean night. I mean that that just hasn't happened. We just haven't seen an own goal. I think all night and a lot of Rocket League. And just heartbreaking for it to come on the on the literal back of bits here. And not enough time left to tie this one back up. They may get one more for the road. They will. One second left on the clock. Okay, it's possible. Let's do it. It's, it's doable. It's in theory, we could see overtime here. <laughs> I, I, I just saw the game chat, by the way, underneath our logo there. Mm -hmm. And OT are scared coming out of laser. <laughs> Hello. Talking smack to the end. I love it. Oh, well, we have pop up there. There it is. Knights are going to drop that one down and secure the victory in game number one. I, I think a lot of this just feels like it's just it's just two teams, a lot of friends just having fun here on the field. I, that's honestly what it feels like to me. And it's great to see because the stakes are high, but they're not letting that be the decider here back and forth of, oh, hey, we you know we're going to we're going to come out here and and, you know, it, there's some sweat going on because there's real money on the line. I mean, let's let's not let's not downplay too much. But I do get the impression that they're at this point, they're both in the land, they're both in the money. Now it's time to just have some fun on stream. <clears throat> we'll see what happens though. I mean, it was back and forth. I mean, there's yes. still some serious fight left in the academy team. Let's let's be honest. Uh Probably their controllers are a little bit sweatier uh, than <laughs> the senior team. But uh, seriously, back and forth action. Uh, great mm. aerial challenges. Once again, great offensive third touches look coming at, out look, of the academy team. Look at the shots on net. I mean, it's just, it's just a perfect mirror. Three, one, two, two, one, three. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's nothing between these two teams right now. It's <clears> just a touch here or there. It's a little lucky pass. It's a little, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful carom out of the corner. Uh, you know, that's really the difference between these two teams right now. So here we go into game number two. You know, do we see the academy team up the ante, up the aggression, up the physicality? Well, I, I think that would be a lot of fun to see as Fira will beat out that. It's a bit of a fake. Reeves looking for this double touch opportunity. He can misreads just a little bit. But that's a great look. Academy off the bat looking for a little bit of trickery, a little bit of fun. To put something different on that. The real question here, Lars, is who is who who is laser coaching right now? That's yes. the real question that I need to have answered. Yes. Uh, laser, I, I know you're watching us right now, so <laughs> please let me know uh, in our chat uh, how this is going down because I, I need to know these answers. We <laughs> have needing things. Both teams need a goal to get things started. <laughs> Needed a save to keep the Knights away from their net. Santi off the back, or sidewall, excuse me. Reeves, big dump downfield. Lyrics already up. Both of the teams looking for banger upfield passes. It's just back and forth. This is just transition play. Just every, every touch is just a big transition. I really want to see uh the academy team start to get some demos on the senior squad let's see what they can bring to this battle uh because you know we see you know the ucf senior squad trying to fight for their lives in the rlcs qualifier so you know what can the academy team bring to this fight that we haven't seen from them yet <laughs> 
Well, we've seen a little bit of that. That opening salvo out of Academy was some a little bit of flair to it that we didn't really see in that last series for one reason or another. Santi, speaking a little bit of flair, with the, using their jump to get back down to the ground that much quicker. You love to see that level of control and awareness out of a player. Finally, a little bit of an established offense in favor of the Knights. This shot down by Bowlby, just wide of the corner. That's to the other one, Santi, with a great cleanup touch. Yeah, I mean, beautiful work. Uh, Santi there in Bowlby. Just a nice little touch off the backboard there. Setting up Santi for the easy far post pinch. Santi <clears throat> and Bits on the kickoff. Lyrics into the side wall. Throws that up for Reeves to collect. But it's Bowlby there first. Nice, very well controlled touch <laughs> to the corner. That's exactly what you need. But there's the demo. Santi to bring pressure. There's another demo. Lyrics eliminating the threat. Now off the back wall. It's an awkward touch, but it's enough for Bits to clean it up. Now Reeves with an opportunity. Santi. Nice. I've seen Santi do that so many times. That touch off the side wall to oh. get it upfield. It's just gorgeous, and they're so consistent with it. you got to be careful Bits. if you are the Academy team. Speaking of be careful, Bits throws this one in front of the net, and there's no one there from Academy to take advantage of it. <laughs> um, so I'm having a little chat with Laser right now in our chat. He's a swapping between the boys' channels right now, and uh, he's uh, probably going to uh, limit himself to coaching the losing team of each game. So, <laughs> a bit of a handicap there. Lyrics, oh, what a beautiful Ow! touch. Oh, that just went begging for a goal. Bits over top. Santi picks up the demo that really should have been Reeves. Santi sends this one deep downfield. Bits will have a good amount of time. That's oh, Reeves, excuse me, to pick that up. Colby, contain. Bits off the back wall with a great 50. This one sent deep down. It's Fura. It's just a great touch. The wall in backboard play is so solid out of both of these teams. It just makes it tough to go anywhere up the field. And I think a little bit of what you looked for in the first series tonight, punch it up the gut. Take it away from the walls because right now, especially the Knights team is just too good off the wall. Yeah, I mean, what what a great bump there. That is a huge touch coming out of the Academy team. And I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. Uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking about, you know, how do they deal with this? And how do they keep pushing the advantage forward? I mean, look at that touch. Beautiful out of bits. The backline defense, though, is absolutely rock solid as we've seen all series and you know, the qualifiers long. Mm -hmm. Academy slowed down the play a little bit. Oh no, that was so clean. This is just the, this is the UCF nights we've seen all night. It's really, honestly, whatever team's been blue all night has been so good Bits? defensively. Bits? What? That's Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. my goodness. They're just so solid. We need the demos. We need the pressure. We've been getting them so far. Six demos in this matchup, but it's not enough. It's not enough to get rid of this Knights defense that's just an absolute brick wall. This is the difference between the Academy team and Bubble and RCLS or RLCS teams. So, I mean, we're looking right now at the academy team they are holding their own against this team that's going through the rlcs qualifying right now in their region i mean demos absolutely spectacular absolutely even as well so we'll see you know can the academy team really bring it to bear I i'm having a running conversation with with laser right now in our chat and uh i mean how do you actually coach both teams i mean he said he's gonna be jumping back and forth between the losing team and the winning team so <clears throat> i mean gotta be a proud coach right now i'm proud of the gameplay on the field right now this is not an easy task for the senior squad whatsoever mm -hmm. reeves and bits are absolutely bringing it to bear on the senior squad right now lars this is what we wanted to see i don't care if they expended all their energy they still have more to give us I want all of your life energy. Give it to me now. Yeah, this is, I mean, look look at this. This is, they've got 
first of all, Academy got more pressure upfield. They had more shots on net. They brought so much against the Knights. The Knights just are so solid. They're just so solid defensively. It, how do you beat that? And the answer is you got to catch them quick in transition before they can get back, and you got to get them bumped and demoed. If you allow all three players to play defense, you're just not scoring. Sorry. Oh. So our our, 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 our glorious leader, Kate Dad, uh, was trying to get laser on cam and, and giving us a running commentary. Actually, I asked for a running commentary because that's the kind of person that I am. I don't care. I, I'm shameless, and I, I want to hear uh, what's going on as it happens. But Ooh. we might have a chance to see them post-game. Azura has been absolutely solid defensively. There's another quick shot on that. And here's another opportunity. Academy is just, they smell blood in the water and they are getting after it. They are so determined to pick up a goal here. They've had so many quick looks, so many opportunities as Fira, an opportunity of their own off the ceiling. They don't have the ball under control enough. You know, Lyrics, good catch, pops us out to Reeves. A little bit of confusion in the Knights back end. They recover quick enough to prevent a real threat from developing. Santi downfield off the ceiling. Good read to the back wall. Look for that no boost double touch. That's oh, going to be an awkward touch. touch in front of the net as Fira doesn't punish. It's into the post. Oh my goodness. Now Reeves running in Fira. It's Fitz looking to put that one on. Lyrics looking for one. And Santi with the save now. Lyrics is playing out of their complete mind right now. We saw it in the last series, and they're continuing the same thing right now. Look at that. Beautiful touch midfield, 50-50 challenge up in the air, and they're starting to put and exert the pressure onto the senior squad right now. Look at that. I mean, everybody's flying for the ball. This is Rocket League personified once again. Lyrics is actually feeling this pulse of the match right now. Fits on the back wall. Lyrics to the side wall now. Good clear. Down in front, Fitz waits for Reeves to take a shot. It's, it's a beautiful pick to the corner, but it's just too much time for this UCF Knights defense. I almost did it there. For this Knights <laughs> defense <laughs> to get up to that. Oh, we may see a rule one develop here. Bulby Bits, rule one. We now have 2v2. Oh my goodness. This is, we're getting it all. We're getting it all. The only thing we need now is a game seven decider. Lyrics clears downfield. Santi's wide rotation back. Cleans this one up. Dunked by Lyrics. Reeves with a shot. What a save. Oh, my goodness. My brain just exploded from that save. <laughs> and they actually broke the rule one there uh, naturally. No, no, no demos and such like that. So uh, love the competitive integrity of that. But Asphora is feeling blood in the water right now. Reeves, nice aerial carry across the midline. But Asphora, once again, Johnny on the spot, trying to dump this ball deep into the attacking just, third. Can I point out Yikes. real quick? As Fira just had an opportunity to rotate back on defense, it elected to not do so in order to preserve the rule one. And there's the reward. That's what you get for honoring tradition. Santi, all the way downfield, gets the double touch to take the lead in favor of the Knights. Love to see it in less than two minutes. Senior squad respecting the rules of Fight Club, respecting the rules of Rocket League, and you'll love to see it. And I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. This is one of the better series that I've seen. I know that we've seen some banger matches here all night, Lars, but this right now just feels different. It feels more important. It feels like it's richer. It feels like it has more luxury to it. And I want to see the Academy team at least pull out one game of the series. I, I, I want to see them pull out at least three and force the game seven decider, but they're going to have to find a goal here. We're nearing the final minute of the match. <clears throat> and the Academy team has struggled to find goals all series against a defense that is so rock solid. It's, it's not even a cliff anymore. Excuse me, a brick wall. It's a straight up cliff that they're just beating themselves against, continuing to bring pressure, but they've allowed some of that pressure to slip out. The Knights leading in shots. 
and with a monstrous five saves for Santi. And I know they've actually had more, and a few of those didn't get counted because of just how things work. Right. It's just... <laughs> defense is just so incredible it's it's wild it's unbelievable i mean it, it brings back the adage oh there's a gold no oh, 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 oh there it is, you there it is. Oh, oh yes the demo oh. and as fura doesn't get the touch but no one's there no one can recover quick enough and bitch has just oh, placement oh. it's so good 31 seconds we're tied do we see the Academy team's first dub? Oh. This is the moment. Oh, what a touch. What a oh, touch. What? what? The one word, the fourth man for the senior team. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I don't know if the players are sweating as much as I am out here. There's pressure up. Phil Reeves turns, gets a 50 with Bulby. Few seconds left. Fitz. Tries to get the safe play out to the wall. Bulby will collect one more opportunity in favor of the Knights. Let's see if they play this down. They do. Overtime game number three. Oh, here we go. I mean, the Academy team right now has to be feeling on top of the world. That's a huge demo right in front of the attacking players, though. Now, how does Asfura turn this to an advantage? There Please. might not be an advantage. Hits. There's a pass across the front. Lyrics picks up boost. It is early to challenge this one. Bulby recognizes slow play. Tries to put this one down. Looking for that bump. Looking for something. It's an awkward turn. No bits. Good 50 up high. And that's a good dunk out of Bulby. Shot on net. That one might fight it. No, What's it's a that? huge save out of Lyrics. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. The defensive stance. That is the story of the match. Defense is what makes or breaks these two teams. I mean, we talk about it in baseball all the time. Defense wins championship. Oh. Well, <clears throat> oh, the touch from Esther, though, is absolutely exquisite. Off the wall there. Oh, my goodness. That's a great 50 in the corner. The Knights, the thing I'm afraid of right now is the Knights have brought so much more pressure downfield than the Academy team has. And it's it it scares me because Academy needs a dub here. There's a shot on there net on top the corner. No! It's not in. Oh my goodness, they got it past the whole defense, and it's just barely off. Bulby and Santi no boost chasing that ball down. Now Bulby turns. Lyrics is up. Reeves has an opportunity to redirect this one on, but doesn't find the touch. Fitz is up, throws that center. Lyrics elects to back out. I think the wise decision here, there's one just wide. They missed the touch on the back wall. Bit slows this one down and collects. Oh, <laughs> Lars, this is back and forth. I, I can feel you through the mic right now, rubbing your hands together in anticipation of how this will go. Reeves, kind of a wonky touch. Nice recollect there. How do you deal with this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've got my legs I my mommy. Oh, it's Fura. <laughs> no! Oh, my goodness. That one's oh. just going to be cleared downfield. And we send it back the other way. Oh. What a touch of bit there. What a touch of bit there on the 50 challenge aerial-wise. And now we'll see Reeves kind of get a wonky touch. Bits. Bits once again. Uh, uh, bits. Who else? Who else? Bits. Bits. Centers over across the top of the net. It's not quite low enough to take a shot as Fura to Bulby. Out to midfield, Reeves leaving this one for Lyrics to make the safe touch into the corner. Bulby is there. There's a shot that's just wide. Now, Bits, a little bit of an awkward touch, just trying to get it past. The double commit on the side wall here out of the Knights. Reeves sending this one down. Big pop over top, but it's Fira with a very wide rotation. They know what's at stake here. Two, three minutes of overtime, and Ooh. we continue to see the Academy and Knights slug this one out. This is not done by any means, Lars. And I know that you are just absolutely <laughs> suffering with your chest go right now. I love you for your tenacity in this match. Oh, this has got to be an important touch. What a touch! <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> Lyrics! Absolutely turning the frame at the last second. That is exactly what you want to see. Is there going to be a double touch? The stuff in front! I feel like a chicken being cooked right now. There it is! 3-0 lead in the series. I mean, the touches 
from both teams right now are absolutely massive. Bits just could not get up fast enough for that one. <clears throat> Lars. Oh, my friend. Your voice is shredded. My <clears throat> heart is shredded right now because the Academy team should have been able to pull that one out. The run and play was in their favor. Oh, the touch is coming out of both teams right now. Oh, exquisite touches every time they get their chassis on the ball. So now we need to breathe. <clears throat> we need to center. We need to figure out I need, I need how the Academy team. <laughs> you take a sip while I continue to talk because right now, you know, Academy oh, are boy. feeling their oats. <clears throat> they are feeling it. They had the senior squad on the ropes. If there's one thing that I think that the Academy team can do right now is slowing down the touches out of their defensive third, getting a little bit of a touch, maybe a little soft touch or a little dink off the sidewall, you know, kind of evading the press coming midfield from the senior squad. That might be the key to them unlocking what <clears throat> the Knights are trying to do because Academy right now, I mean, I don't care how this goes down. They're playing with full heart and I'm living for this. I'm absolutely living for this. Speaking of people of them playing it out, I just want to remind everyone for these players in Florida, it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> and they're out here duking it out. Oh, they're gonna be able to sleep. I, I don't know about them. And adrenaline's gonna be too high. It's there's gonna be nothing left, but I mean of nothing left. Academy needs a win here, or we will see this go in a 4-0 sweep. <clears throat> I, I I mean it, it, it won't be the most, you know, comprehensive 4-0 sweep that I've ever seen in my life, Lars. I mean, they have all put their hearts and, and technical skill out on the line here. I mean, we've seen some just absolutely epic play from all the players here. And, yeah, the junior squad is not giving up whatsoever. They are still pressing the attack. They are still trying to up the oppression into the offensive third. Santi collecting very slowly here. Bits, reading the play beautifully, gets the dump down in the corner. Bulby is up. Good touch to center. Bits gets the clear to the corner. Dunked out by Santi. Reeves, nice slow play and a good little flip to get back to it, but his fear has a great dunk. Now he's a play upfield. He's an opportunity for Reeves. Gets that one center. We're going to get one more on. That's an interesting touch, but it's just ah! wide. They don't find a way to finish this one off. <clears throat> I mean, that ball was dangling just like a cherry in front of the goal. And they just were not able to uh, snap off the fruit there. But there's the follow-up. They're coming in, Bowlby. Johnny on the spot once again. I tell you what, this is back and forth action. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of an overcommittal from the lyrics there. Reeves didn't have the boost to get up in time. One nil lead. Minute 20 off the clock. Lyrics are going to answer back quickly, but Bolby again putting their name in our mouths as they find what? a way to get a quick touch. This one's back down in the academy. And Esfira looking to punish. Bolby putting one on, and the bump from Esfira almost yields results. <clears throat> but bits. That just, that's it. But bits. <laughs> uh, we can get a hashtag started, but bits. Uh, that'll be fantastic. Oh, Reeves with a huge save there on Santi. Ball dangling once again like a cherry in front. No joy there. I am expecting a goal out of the academy team. They're going to get a counter strike here and really start putting pressure on the back wall from the senior squad. Bits out of the corner. Sends that one high over the mid. Lyrics is up. Bulby is there as well. That's that's the battle right now. Bulby bits. That's, I mean, we all, all these players are excellent. Everyone making huge contributions. But I feel like those are the two players that I'm talking about just constantly as we go up and down the pitch here. <clears throat> Reeves, big send over top. Getting wide rotations out of the Knights team because they understand how quick these counterattacks are coming. But you can get away with it oh, when no. you're fast. But unfortunately for, for the Academy, they can't get away with this touch here or lack thereof. Uh, that's a beautiful pinch off the wall there from Santi, understanding that the defense was trying to rush onto them 
and get a 50 challenge, maybe a bump, maybe a demo, right in front of goal. Unfortunate as we cross halftime, 2 0 lead to the senior squad. Lyrics pass back into the center of the field for Fitz to clean up. Bowlby throws that one down. It's wide of net, and Reeves is there regardless. Now the 50 50, Santi Reeves, Lyrics over the top, plays that one down. What's <laughs> up? Santi is there again. I think Santi has been the 50 50 master here on the field. There's a double bump from Baez Fira. And then the contain. What a touch back into the middle. Santi popping this one up as Fira passing this one back out. That shot's wide. And Lyrics will collect. Academy. Time is dwindling in this tournament. Need to get clear of their zone. They finally do. Bits over top, but with 90 seconds in change to remain. This is looking dire straits for the Academy team. Yeah, and I tell you what, uh, Santi might be the 50 50 king of the night, but Asfura is the aerial challenge specialist. Right now, winning, you know, 80% of these aerial challenges and setting up a team for success. Once again, there's the aerial challenge out of Asfura, and still no joy for the Academy team. This is probably going to go a 4 0 victory in charge of the night, but I got to say, it has been absolutely one hell of a match from both these squads. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bits looking to collect one. Bulby. The Bulby Bits battle. That's it. It's the triple P, the Bulby Bits battle. Lyrics bumped by their own teammate will turn that bump into a bump on Santi. You know, Bits sends that one into the back wall where there's a waiting Santi. There's always nothing's free. Nothing's free. Santi gets a free touch here. And even as I say it, <clears throat> they don't put it on. Sub 30 seconds. This is it. This is do or die in the grand finals between UCF Knights and UCF Academy. Academy needs two goals to the good to force the overtime. Pressure unrelenting out of the Knights. As Fura looking to put one on, touched away by Lyrics. Final few seconds on the clock. Reeve slow plays fakes, but that's not going to do it. There's no time left. And the victory in a 4-0 sweep and a thousand dollars goes to the UCF Knights. I mean, probably a little consolation there uh, from the Knights trying to throw one in at the end. But four nil win for Knights, but it has no uh, bearing upon what we just saw from these two uh, squads from the same school. Good lord. Uh, I have to give a silver star to uh, Lyrics, the saves, the defensive wherewithal to be there and stop almost absolutely everything coming from the senior squad. Uh, Lyrics gets my nod for MVP of the match. I know that I normally give it to uh, a, a an offensive player, but good Lord. yeah, this Lyrics is... was absolutely on fire, my friend. This was this was wild. I mean, the only the big note here, though, the reason UCF doesn't walk away with it's, UCF, the reason UCF Academy doesn't walk away <laughs> with more points to their name. I mean, just looking here, zero goals, zero assists, and a ton of saves, but they just couldn't break out. Once the Knights hit their groove, they were pretty commanding through that series. But a wonderful, a wonderful showing between these two teams. Congratulations to the Knights, a thousand dollars to them, and to Academy, five hundred to them. In both of these teams, we will see at the Invitational Land. We are going to get some of these players here for an interview in just a moment. But before we do that, we're going to throw it a straight, a short break. Stick around. We will be right back.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to CENC for our Southeast Invitational Virtual Qualifier for that big old land. We're here with the coach of the victors, Laser. And just a huge congratulations, Laser. You got to be proud of your team. Te teams. Oh, yeah, teams. absolutely. <laughs> teams, yeah, multiple. Um, honestly, that, <clears throat> that match against USF was a very, very interesting one to watch and be part of. Um, I think that 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 match was probably the highlight of most of those players nights because it, it was it was pretty late uh it was getting into the the wee hours of the night and they weren't like super excited to to play that late but that that match kind of brought back their energy yeah i mean how could you not that was i mean i'm <laughs> i'm sweating <laughs> but it was oh, so yeah. exciting and and in reverse sweep fashion to guarantee a slot at land to guarantee themselves some money but then they had to go up against your Knights team. And the Knights team just brought another level. And we were talking a little bit in the intermission here about the super sub Bolby and how that was a kind of the incredible unknown story going into this. Of Bolby's not even a regular part of this roster and isn't even a sub for this roster. Right. <clears throat> yeah, he's a, he's a sub for the academy team, actually. And uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances with scheduling, um, multiple of our players from the a roster were not available tonight so we had to, to pull pull a sub in and as it as you guys saw it kind of worked out kind of <laughs> kind of just, just, just a little bit now i gotta ask i gotta ask <clears throat> uh going back to the semifinal against university of south florida the bulls good lord um we saw them we saw your academy team get kind of bullied around in the first two matches, but we saw at the halfway point of game number three, they turned it around. They started feeling more physical. They started feeling a little bit more confident on the ball. The rotations coming out of the defensive third was actually a lot more crisp. What was your coaching going into that? And how do we proceed to game five and taking the dub in a reverse fashion? Yeah, after after games one and two, we started to notice that uh, they were kind of pushing a bit too far. They would double commit every once in a while. They started chasing our players around, stealing boost. And we decided to take advantage of that with either slow play, uh, demos of our own, which is what you guys noticed. We got more physical. Um, we also started to just press up on attack a bit more and take advantage of that that pressure. Man, that is awesome. It, it's so cool to, to hear things. I mean, that that you guys are talking about in real time is we're, we're speculating here and, and to see it effective. And I know we've talked a lot about not the Knights, but I mean, it's really just a, it's just a UCF victory here tonight. Yep. So I think it's, it's, it's worth talking about the entire org and the entire community. So if you just want to take a second and uh, give us a little background on how things work at UCF, do you guys have like an esports arena? Are you regularly playing together like in person? No, I or? mean, no, everything's online. Uh, we are not a varsity program. We do not have scholarships. We don't have eSports Arena. We don't have anything. Everything's done online. Um, I, I think we, we've gone to a LAN one time, and that was, that was in fall of 2018, something like that, before I got here. And uh, so we haven't actually played together, I don't think, ever in person. So we're looking forward to the, the LAN, at least. Yeah, well, All right. congratulations. I, I got to ask the question, how do you think the teams are going to compete once they get face to face with each other, um, with how the invitation or with how the land is going to go, I mean, you guys could potentially face each other, uh, depending on that how the bracket lays out. Um, who's the more vocal of the teams? This is where I kind of delve into <clears throat> the, like the mental of the game. How do uh, how do you think that the teams are going to be able to play against each other if they do uh, face to face? Um, I think that. I think that even if uh, they do play face to face, it'll be it'll be a relatively close match. I'm not sure about the score line, but I think it'll be a good match to watch regardless of the outcome. Uh, but I do think that the Knights have at least a little bit more experience in high level competitions because we have Demon, Luke, Bambi, all of which have made RLRS and or RLCS, and they have that that extra oomph of uh, of pressure and just being able to deal with that. But at the same time, uh, Academy has proved time and time again that they have the they have the ice. They can they can come back from whatever, as you guys saw today in the semis. 
Yeah, it was an incredible showing. Well, I, I don't want to take up your entire evening. I know it's about 1 a.m. for you. <laughs> yeah, it, it is pretty great. <clears throat> so I will give Chef Billy one last chance to ask any final questions and then yourself, and then we'll just we'll just go right to left and, and close it out here. All right, so predictions for land then. Uh, since both your squads have qualified, uh, I mean, the reverse sweep was absolutely like the pinnacle of our night. Uh, Lars, I, I'll, I'll yield to you on that one later on, but seriously... Like that was the series of the tournament so far. Um, it had everything into it. So uh, predictions for your senior squad and your junior squad going into the LAN. Mm, I think if uh, if the bracket doesn't kind of just like <clears throat> collide in the way that I'm thinking it's going to, because UCF has a curse of our teams always play each other in qualifiers. Um, I think that both of our teams will make top four. And I'm actually, I'm favoring our main roster to win the entire thing. Well, that is a that is a bold prediction. Well, uh, last question from Billy Laser. If you have any other any other thoughts, questions, concerns, comments, hopes, and or dreams, now's the time. Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> follow esports at UCF on Twitter. <clears throat> All right, Done. you you heard him. Go ahead and spam that in chat if you haven't already. Go ahead and find that link. And that I think is going to do it. Laser, thank you for coming out here and talking with us for a little bit here at the end of the tournament. Congratulations again to UCF on that first and second place finish and qualifying both teams here for the land tournament. And we're excited to see you guys when we get out there, but it's late. It's late for all of us. It is 1 a.m. for, I think, most of you. It's midnight for myself. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you for joining us here at CENC. And make sure to go ahead and give a look to our sponsor, our presenter for the evening, the U.S. Army. All the information they've shared here tonight. Just go ahead and give it a look. We'll go over, do some research, and find out what's going to work for you going forward. Speaking of going forward, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> Chef Billy at Billy DeMoose on Twitter. Myself, Lars Newt at Lars Newt on Twitter. And go ahead and follow CENC at CENC underscore official on Twitter for more news and updates for anything that we have going on here. And drop a follow to the channel. So we've got not just Rocket League, Overwatch, and I'm sure other esports as well. But Rocket League is kind of my only thing. So that's going to do it. Thank you on behalf of Chef Billy and myself. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. Bye, guys. Love you all. <laughs>